Hey folks, uh, this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this pretty cool looking app drawer. As you see here, it's it's got about a transparency of around 50%. Looks pretty good when you can see the wallpaper in behind. So let's get at it. We're going to need to get into uh, any kind of decompiling app that you use. I use Virtuous 10 Studio. I have my prism, so I need to first navigate into, into the values and get into the color folder. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and basically you can do it by making your own string or just copying one. I normally make my own but for this video I'll copy it and what I want to do first is change the name to a custom name so let's call it custom background that's a easy name now I need to change the the color here it's it's a rather dark color and what I want to do is use a transparency now to make a transparency we're going to use this uh, this hex converter and basically what you want to to know is that the hex converters or the decimals go from 0 to 255 with a 50 percent transparency being uh, 127 so if I type in here 127 I'm going to get a hex of F uh, 7 F I want around maybe oh, 135 for a test and that gives me a hex of 87 so what I'm going to do is go down and highlight the hex 87 and type in 1 2 3 1 2 3 6 zeros for black and that gives me my number now the reason why I want to make this custom color is because the app drawer uses this color here the dark app background and it's rather dark it's almost black so I want to use a transparent color and I want to replace this one where am I going to find that well now I need to go into well first I have to go back down here and I'm not sure if I did that already but I want to copy the name and get into the layout and I want to navigate down to the specific all apps page view and here is the dark app background color and that's it right here now all I want to do here is just highlight all that right to the end here I'm going to type in at color and we're going to just paste in our custom background. Now that's all finished there. I can close that and I can close this. One more thing I have to do now. I have to change a a smalley. And this is the uh, the method that we have to look for. Method public update wallpaper visibility and what I'm going to do is just highlight that go into find I'm going to find in files and make sure that you navigate to the prism and go ahead and search for that it's taking a bit of time usually it's a lot faster than this okay and once I have that I'm going to open up that smalley and I'm going to change something well that's probably the, the longest I've seen that happen okay I'm going to open up that smalley and I want to change the uh, this line here 
and basically I'm just going to make that into into a zero and that's it I'm going to close that up I'm going to go up here and we're going to build and that's all you have to do okay well stay tuned I'll be back with another tutorial